What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can set up Python on your Windows 10 computer so that it'll work inside of your command prompt, typing in Python, etc, etc. As you can see, typing in Python currently in the latest build of Windows 10 takes us across to the Microsoft Store where we can install it through this. However, I would highly recommend not using this because downloading and installing it from the official website is far better. As you can see, note the Microsoft Store release of the Python 3.7 is primarily for evaluation purposes and not all features are guaranteed stable. So that is the number one reason that you want to try and download it from their official website website instead of the Microsoft Store. So to do this, simply open up a web browser of your choice. I currently only have Microsoft Edge on this virtual machine, but that's fine. We'll head across to python.org slash downloads, and we'll go ahead and hit the download Python 3.8.1 button. Now, of course, if you have a 64-bit PC, I'd recommend clicking the Windows, Linux, Mac OS X, or other tab. So I'll hit Windows because I'm on Windows, and I'll go ahead and scroll down a bit to 3.8.1, the latest version of Python and I'll download the x86-64 executable installer, which is the 64-bit installer. I'll then hit save. Of course, you can hit run instead, and we'll wait for this to finish. There we go. Let's hit run and wait for it to open. And here we go. Install Python 3.8.1 64-bit. Of course, if you're using a 32-bit PC, you'll be downloading and installing the 32-bit version, which shouldn't have this written here. Having a look down here, you may be tempted to click the Install Now button. However, that's not correct if you want to get it set up properly and working inside of Command Prompt. For that, you need to make sure that Add Python 3.8 to Path is checked. Then we'll hit Install Now. We'll hit Yes when prompted for Admin, and we'll wait for this to finish. There we go. Now, before you go ahead and hit the close button, make sure to click disable path length limit because this will help you later on. Python may need to bypass the 260 character limit for max path. So we'll click that, hit yes, and then close. Now Python should be successfully installed on your Windows 10 computer. To test this, hold start and press R and then type in CMD. Once you see this window, type in Python and hit enter. If you do that, you'll see this over here. Python 3.8.1, or whatever version the latest one is, followed by three arrows where you can go ahead and type in commands. To exit the screen, hold Control, hit Z, and hit Enter. This is probably the easiest way to close out of the Python interface. If you'd like to check the Python version, type in Python, space, hyphen, hyphen, version, and hit Enter. And it'll return Python 3.8.1, whatever version you're on currently. So let's go ahead and check to see if this works. I'll type in Python and print hello internet. There we go, it's returned hello internet. And close out of that, let's go make sure that Python files work as well. So on my desktop, I'll simply make a new text document and I'll name it test. Now, of course, I don't see the .txt after it, which is important for this step. So I'll open up any folder. And at the very top, I'll go to view, and make sure that file name extensions is checked. Then you'll see the screen flash for a second. You can close out of whatever folder you browsed into, and we'll be editing the .txt into a .py file, and you should see the icon changes to the Python logo. Right click, open with, and I'll choose Notepad to edit it. Do not click always use this app to open Python files if you'd like to keep the ability to double click on .py files, and they open using Python. Then I'll say print hello internet. I'll go ahead and hit Control S to save it, and I'll close it like that. Double clicking on test.py will make it flash in our screen and disappear shortly. That's because once the script is done running, it finishes and closes the window. So to counteract this, I'll simply start R, CMD, and I'll CD into a desktop, meaning change directory into desktop. There we are, and I'll type in test, hit tab, hit enter, and we've now run the test.py file, and it returns hello internet. Super simple. So, of course, if you don't see this Python logo on top of .py files, right click, open with, choose another app, and make sure to check always use this app to open .py files, and we'll find Python here. Of course, if you don't see Python here, click more apps, scroll down to the bottom, and look for another app on this PC. Now, at this point, it may be a lost hope and you're better off reinstalling Python. However, if you believe that this will work, then, well, let's try it. So at the very top, I'll type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. 
we'll go back a folder to app data, local, programs, Python, Python 3.8, and we'll double click on a python.exe. After doing that, you'll see the logo might change, and that's fine because either of these will work. And once you've done that, things should work properly. So start R, CMD, CD, desktop, test.py, and it'll work as expected. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching this short tutorial video. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.